Do you hear that? Wait, oh, wait, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's a total wrong kind of alert. What we're gonna talk about is a highlight alert in our cameras. And this is an essential function that really helps to know when we've overexposed an area of our image in the water before we're even back to post because by then it's oftentimes too late. So the highlight alert takes place in most cameras and it's really easy to use and a really great feature. So let's kick that intro. The functionality of the highlight alert feature is pretty simple. Basically what it does is it will highlight and flash an area of overexposure when you're reviewing your images in camera. So you shoot the shot regardless of whether it's ambient or strobe light or uh, constant light with video lights and shot with any of those light sources regardless of your settings. You go back, you hit playback, you hit image review, you look at the histogram, you look at your images. If you have the highlight alerts turned on, you'll see an area flashing that will have the overexposure and that will immediately tell you hey, I overexposed something and I can decide if I want to bring down the exposure to compensate for that. Or maybe it's just a little sliver of a highlight that you're not going to be able to, to not expose. You know, it's a sliver of white on a very, very dark subject against a dark background. You make that choice, you know, I am going to blow that out because it won't really matter. A lot of times that'll happen on fringing, especially like iridescent blue on juvenile fish. There's just no way you're going to expose correctly for that, that type of blue in the blue channel. So it's a really useful tool and there's a number of different ways to set it up on different cameras. Like you'll see right here, we're gonna dive through one at a time and give instructions on how to set it up. Now here's an example on my Canon 5D Mark IV of the highlight alert. And I hope you can see this and the exposure is somewhere close to what I'm seeing on back of the camera. But this is basically it. That flashing black area is the highlight alert. And it tells me that that area inside the sunburst is what's overexposed. What I do with that information will depend on the scene. In this particular instance, I will think it's okay. Let's look at my histogram real quick. And I'm gonna say, you know, the majority of my shot is okay. It's kind of where I want it. You know, the, the blue, some of the lighter areas are well exposed. So I'm gonna be okay with that overexposure in the highlight alert on the sun ball. And go back to the main image and there we go. So at least I know what I can do with that data. If I go to the next image, I will see that there's a much greater overexposure in the highlight alert. And here I can decide what to do. Oh, it's right at the edge of the frame. That's where I was placing that, that sunburst. So maybe I can crop it just a little bit and pull some of that out. Again, that's just a decision I can make once I have the data and I know what I want to do with it. And a third example, here we go, much less overexposure, so there's no highlight alert. Everything in the histogram is before the white point. You'll see that that histogram has shifted to the left, so we do not have the highlight alert, which is good. That means everything is in a, uh, a proper exposure, or at least not overexposed. So very useful tool when we're down there shooting and trying to compose our images and expose our images correctly. So how do we enable the highlight alert? Well, it's a feature during image review and image playback. So what I'm gonna do in this Canon menu is go to the playback menu. You'll see the blue and the, the playback arrow there. And I have highlight alert enabled. I also have autofocus point enabled. I don't know if you noticed that red box there, but I have that because it helps me to know exactly where the camera decided to focus. Whether it's in focus or not is a different story, but at least I know where the camera focused on that image. But for highlight alert, enable or disable. Very simple, just turn it on and off right here. If you're showing your images to people on the back of the camera, you can quickly turn it off so you don't have the annoying flashing. But when you're in the water trying to expose your images, that's simple. So let's look at the other cameras. For Nikon, you wanna go into the playback menu, look for highlights, and then check the box. For Sony, you'll go into the settings menu number one or the camera menu two. They've moved it around a few times. Zebra or zebra setting, set it to on. For Olympus, look at the info settings menu. Go to highlight and shadow and then set it to on. You can also use shadow in this format. So this is how we set up the highlight alerts in our cameras. And you'll notice that it may seem like it'll be a bit distracting underwater when you're reviewing your images, but really quickly you'll get used to it and it'll become second nature to just see that pop up. I often also leave my focus point on there too so I know exactly where I focused. And you can see right through those when you're reviewing your images and you'll know exactly what you've captured. One thing to note is that sometimes, depending on the camera, you might show highlight alerts in camera that are not reflected in Lightroom. And that's really nice because you'll have extra leeway when you're editing. If you're seeing the 
highlight alerts and shooting for that in camera, you'll know you won't have anything overexposed in Lightroom once you get to that point. So really beneficial. I've noticed that with Sony cameras, but a lot of different cameras may play differently. It's, it's going to depend on your exact setup. So just something to keep in mind. So keep those highlight alerts on, pay attention to the histogram as always. If you haven't, watch the exposure and histograms video uh, earlier in the series because that's really helpful. It's something I look at with every shot. You have to look at that histogram to get the true data, keep those highlight alerts on, and you'll have great exposure in all your images. So hope that's useful. We'll see you in the next video.